Hello digital nomads and future digital nomads, it's Guido from Nomadic Entrepreneurs and in today's video I'm here with uh, Oscar and uh, Oscar uh, we're going to talk about uh, the co-work space of Selina Tamarindo. Um, Oscar please uh, introduce well, yourself. Well first nice to meet you Guido, well my name is Oscar Hernandez, I am here from Costa Rica, I have lived in three years here on Tamarindo uh, more exactly working on Selena. Uh, it's a place where I really love them, the town, the vibe of the people, and also I really love how the people and the, uh, and the town changed after the COVID times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, I've been here in uh, Selena Tamarindo uh, for now one month and been using the co-work space uh, basically every day. <laughs> And uh, so in this video, we would like to share uh, my experiences and also the experiences from other digital nomads that uh, I've talked to, digital nomad remote workers and digital nomads entrepreneurs. Um, okay, so uh, we've been talking uh, before and uh, I asked you, for example, like uh, how was the situation uh, around January this year, 2021? Um, and you mentioned that uh, at that time, more or less you didn't have any co-work space. Yeah, how do you say? Uh, at the beginning, when the frontier was open and more people return, uh, returned to travel to Costa Rica, we afford the situation when we don't have enough space for uh, digital nomads. For the reason we, we decided to make a mix and change one of the dorms for 10 people to change uh, one of the co-working space at the mm -hmm. beginning looks a little poor the place because we don't have like seven desks, we don't have phone booths, and we don't have like the basics for the digital nomads. Okay. Well, after a few months, we can improve on the, on a new building, also create a new infrastructure. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically it was uh, uh, before January, the, there was no co-work space? No co-work space. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, there was one building changed uh, to co-work space uh -huh. and now uh, we are what month in we are in August August yeah we already have two buildings with three phone booths and uh, we improve also since January in our Wi-Fi speed uh -huh. and also on the basic facilities awesome awesome and uh, uh, what is the, the future uh, looks like so we have now two uh, are you expanding more? Uh, we are thinking about uh, expanding a third building mm -hmm. just dedicated for private office and private conference place to provide a better experience for the people in the case uh, the digital number is going to go up the people who re to decide to come to Tamarindo mm -hmm. and Selena want to improve and also provide a, a the best experience what we can. Yes, awesome, awesome. So uh, three buildings from zero to three buildings in one year, that's, uh, that's a significant uh, improvement. Uh, yeah, or actually, that said yeah. too much about the quantity of people who decided to change their, their travel experience. No, it's just not to travel, now it's people who are looking to work, are living in a place for one, two, even for, for three months and we want to provide a good place so they can uh, continue their works and decided to stay longer in Costa Rica, yeah, even yeah. more in Tamarindo. Yeah, and uh, I've been in other co-work spaces of Selena. Uh, for example, before uh, I was also in, uh, in Selena Jaco. There mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I was also one month and of course you meet uh, a lot of other digital nomads and uh, I remember uh, uh, one of my digital nomad entrepreneur friends, he was at that time, he's already staying eight months in the wow. in the same Selena, mm -hmm. and he loved uh, the co-work space. Uh, so uh, I think by now he's ten months uh, in Hako, <laughs> and uh, maybe he's uh, he's considering to come to this place uh, or looking for a different location for to change the scenery. But uh, that's that's the possibilities uh, as a digital nomad. Uh, yeah, you can stay one month two, three months or longer, depending on the needs of the person. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about uh, some of the things, uh, for example, internet uh, speed uh, and stability. So what I've experienced so far, the internet speed is, is 
okay it's good yeah actually now we have like internet speed just uh, one red just dedicated for the co-working space mm -hmm. usually the velocity is around 20 to 25 mv and well just sometimes we have some issues with the natural conditions the rains or when the company have failures on their system but usually it's very stable and also selena are improving a plan for the next month to provide a better uh, wi-fi quality in all the locations because it's not in, just in tamarindo you can find 11 locations in uh, selena in costa rica and all of them um, have a co-working space and now we are dedicated more focus to provide the uh, best experience for yeah. them yeah and uh, I believe you also uh, mentioned before that uh, you're in, uh, working or uh, Selena is working on to improve the uh, speed uh, of mm -hmm. the internet. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we have uh, optic fiber, right? Yes. That's yes. Uh, important for the Zoom calls or for the YouTubers like <laughs> 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 to upload those videos. So uh, that's uh, good. And uh, of course, we are in Costa Rica. It's a tropical climate. Yeah. And it's part of the experience, indeed, that sometimes, uh, uh, for now, in the last two months, I only experienced it once or two times. Uh, once a month, it, a little bit, the internet goes down, but then the I internet company or the provider, they work on it, and in the same day, uh, we have uh, internet again. Uh, so, for all those digital nomads or future digital nomads, uh, it's always good to have uh, like a backup plan. If it, for you it's very, very important to, to always be online. Uh, I have like a data plan on my phone uh, as a backup. Uh, so it's uh, good to keep that in mind and, um, and relax. Uh, I mean, it's mm -hmm. not the end of the world if you don't have uh, internet for uh, two hours. <laughs> Okay, and um, so uh, I, we walked around, I walked around, and uh, in especially in one of the co work spaces, uh, it looks really beautiful, like all the chairs are uh, professional, and in one of this one, um, we have also some uh, normal wooden uh -huh. chairs. Um, you mentioned that you were working on that, huh? Yeah, sure, we are in, uh, working on that to provide a better chairs also in the lighting, in the lights, every, mm -hmm. every, in every desk have to, have to be a proper light for the people who work. And we already ordered, the, the equipment are on the way and mm -hmm. also we are improving in different um, connections to the people who need to connect the USB and also the computer at the same time. We're going to improve it. Yeah. Uh -huh, sure. Okay, okay, awesome. Um, so by probably by the time that uh, you see this, uh, the new chairs will be here. Uh -huh. uh, by the time you uh, digital nomads uh, or future digital nomads get here, uh, not only the chairs but lightning, everything has been uh, improved. The power outlets uh, and okay. Uh, important for uh, digital nomads, especially for those who um, yeah, do the Zoom calls or uh, want to have a private call, uh, there are at the moment three uh, private phone Fun booths. booths. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, two in one building and one in this uh, building. Uh, and there will be more uh, in the future. Yeah, sure. Part of the plans to on future is improving one building just uh, dedicated for private offices mm -hmm. to provide the people who need um, have more privacy to have calls for Zoom, yep. they can use that place. Also, when you uh, rent the place in the co-work, you also have the facility to use a couple hours that phone booth without any extra cost. Mm -hmm. And also depends for the, the ability. Um, it is other people on use or is already booked. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And do you have an idea, an estimation, how many phone booths uh, there will be? Or is it too early to ask? I think it's too early because uh, we need to check and also take a look what is the building more appropriate because we also have mm -hmm. a bar and restaurant in oh, the hotel yeah, and yeah. we need to take in account the yeah. sound and yeah. also around the location uh, you can find a couple bars. And for that reason, we have to 
take the time to select the proper building to mm -hmm. don't affect the loud outside the Selena and also our restaurant, yeah. don't affect that place. In okay, that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's very smart, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm looking at my notes. Uh, coffee, tea, water, everything is uh, there, all the good stuff. Uh, I see a hammock. Here yes, and as, <laughs> as you say, part of our facility is provide a relaxed and chill experience while the people are working on Selena, yeah. uh, using our co works We provide coffee for free, cold water, uh, tea if you decide it. We also have the menu next to the co-working space. If you want to order something, you can contact directly to the reception through WhatsApp and they can help you to order on the restaurant then you need just to show and release the payment and pick up awesome. your food also. Yeah, yeah. Part also the facilities as you say, we have a private parking lot, we have also a common kitchen in the case if you are a guest you have the facility to go prepare your own food, mm -hmm. keep freezing your food or beverage and have uh, easy handle to take when you are working. Yeah. And actually the common kitchen are located less than one minute walking from both co-works. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And talking about less than one minute, mm -hmm. uh, so in front of the reception there is a supermarket. Yeah. In less than one minute, it's just around the corner is the beach. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, talking about the beach, so uh, what you can do, because uh, this is a funny, this is the first uh, uh, co-work space that I see with uh, showers. Yeah, so, so that's <laughs> a funny <laughs> fact, uh, we have the, co in both co-working space you, have, you find showers because uh, we are thinking about the people who want to enjoy also here sign off and decided to go on surfing. As you know, Tamarindo is recognized around the world for one of the best places to surf. Mm -hmm. And we think the people also need the experience like to go surfing and then continue your working day. And uh, we provide and keep the space so they can take a shower and you can begin fresh your yeah. meetings or even if you are almost sleeping, you can take a shower yeah. and continue <laughs> working. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I love that uh, element. Um, about the atmosphere, uh, from my experience, uh, we're sitting in, in one of the outside uh, of the co-work spaces and this you can also use as a, as a place to, to work. There are, so there are two tables outside. Um, the atmosphere is very relaxed. Uh, of course, uh, you do your work, you work on your projects. Um, you close your laptop and it's like 25, 30 degrees Celsius every day. Mm -hmm. um, very very relaxed uh, atmosphere um, people are very nice everyone that I've met at the co-work space uh, the restaurant uh, I mean we're in a tropical uh, yeah. country it's, now it's the weather well probably the future people who try into Tamarind is going to find a different season like summer now we are in winter but even with that uh, it's a fresh day, sometimes they are sunny in the mornings and the day continues just a little cloudy, but that one is, is not a problem. When, when you are working here, uh, you have the facility to go to different places. Also on Selena we offer different tours, we offer surf lessons, standard paddle tours. Uh, in front of Tamarindo, you can find mm -hmm. Iceland where the people we usually invited to go and visit because on the way you can you have the chance to see turtles and relax and forget for a little bit your war yeah. and just enjoy the experience to visit a tropical country. Yeah, yeah that's exactly uh, uh, yeah that you can forget uh, the work. Uh, it's an excellent work-life balance. That's why I also decided to become a digital nomad myself. Um, Okay, so now uh, people are interested, they are curious, how uh, do they get in contact? And of course, I will leave all of the details in the description below. But sure. Uh, well, we also can contact Selena directly with the Selena Global. They also have a special package. The name is uh, nomads at selena.com. In that email, you can write and ask about our special package for people who are interested to work and travel around to Costa Rica. Or, as you know, Selena, you find different locations around the world. They also have a special package to different, to different, to visit 
and travel to different countries mm -hmm. and they provide you a good price, uh, special discounts, the facility to use our co-working space and the ability to you can change your plans on the way and visit different places to improve more in your, in your travels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yes. uh, I also forget to tell about the direct email to contact direct our location, Selena Tamarindo. The email is reception that tamarindo at selina.com. Mm -hmm. Through this email, you can contact directly with us in Tamarindo, and we can help you if you need information about also the prices for the co working space, like daily, weekly, or monthly. We have a special package for visitors, like people who are not the same on Selena. We also can help you if you are going to stay longer in Tamarindo to create a special deals for you and also include the use for facilities like surfing or the restaurant and bar. Yeah, okay, awesome. So, uh, of course, I understand it uh, very well, uh, but for the people uh, who are uh, looking into this, uh, their, their news, so we, to, to break it down, so there is like a, a co-live package. Uh -huh. So that's if, and that's what I have, like you get uh, this uh, bracelet. Uh, that means that you are living in the uh, Selina uh, Tamar or Tamarindo or any uh, location and you have the co-work spaces included, uh, discounts at the restaurants and, uh, and all the activities that uh -huh. Selina offers. Yes. Um, but if you're not staying at the Selina, uh, you can also make use of the co-work space and that is uh, directly directly with the reception in every location for yeah. example okay okay awesome is there something that you can mention uh, about uh, for example if people want to use only the co work space uh, about the prices yeah about the prices uh, we have the daily package who include the use of, like facilities like parking lot restaurant bar have a cost of 12 dollars daily mm -hmm. Also, we have a weekly package for $63 a week, also included the facilities, the restaurant, bar. We also have a pool on the hotel, I forget to, to comment about it. It's also open to use when the people rent a space on the co-working co place, you can use that facility. And the last package is a monthly rent, who has a cost to $145 and you also can find all that information on selina.com if you're looking directly to the location of tamarindo you find all the information related about these uh, prices and also how to contact them how to contact us awesome awesome thank you very much uh, for welcome. sharing um, it was uh, quite a lot of information i hope it's all clear uh, for you uh, for the digital nomads, uh, remote workers and digital nomad entrepreneurs and for all the people who are looking to become a digital nomad. Um, did we cover everything? I think we did. Yeah? yeah. So, uh, Oscar, uh, thank you very much for You're your welcome, time. You're welcome, It's a and pleasure to help you. Yeah. And also help to the people met a little bit more about the change after COVID and know about Tamarindo is a beautiful place that they can visit uh, continue your working but also improve in your a new balance in your life as Guido say between the works and the fun fact to visit in other places exactly find a, in a, a better work work life balance uh, for yourself and uh, for those who are curious uh, to become a digital nomad uh, like myself uh, 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 look in the description below how to become a digital nomad in 2021 and I'll be glad uh, to guide you uh, into the right uh, direction and uh, yeah, just follow the instructions and for all the other details check also in the description below uh, how to make a reservation, how to contact uh, the Selena workspace and uh, other information that we uh, talked about. So Oscar, uh, thank you very much for your You're time. You're welcome. Pura vida. Pura vida. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.